Hi friends, welcome to Testing Tutorials Point. This is Lokesh and today we are going to discuss about introduction to REST API using Python and install and setup for REST Azure in a Python. Okay, this is we are going to discuss in today. Okay, the basic thing is like introduction like why we required the Python uh, like REST APIs. See, the APIs we can able to do it in the Postman. There are a couple of ways. Postman and we have the method is supported by postman is get post put patch and delete methods okay what exactly these methods can do means a get method can do it for for getting for the single user and multiple user and we can able to filter him for that user and post meant to create some user to enter database and put is basically to insert if something the record is not there and you have to insert in the middle of that you can able to use put patch means we can able to update for one record a delete means we can able to delete for single record from a db okay these are the five operations we can able to do it while you are doing for in the postman we need to choose for the method as in a get or post based upon your request and we need to provide some url and we need to click for send button and also we need to provide for headers authorization and as well as the body in case if you are using post put patch this moment okay other than that like a git and delete time it is not required any a body okay and how we can able to install means you can op open first cmd command prompt okay and then you can able to pip install requests requests once you click on that one it will enter like if it is already there it will show for requirement is already satisfied if it is not installed already then you can able to say it will install and it will give for success pieces in my case it is already installed that's why it is showing for success like already there and i'm going to use for pycharm to open this new one i'm going to opening for my pycharm then we need to click for file and i'm going to click for file a new project a new project is rest with python okay this is my project i'm creating the project and uh, this window only okay now it will get it for all the data from here and it will launch into uh, the project structure and it is loading you can able to see uh, what are the predefined the things and everything it will load once it is load is completed then you can able to create one directory here directory is become apis then you can able to click file settings and project project interpreter then you can able to click for plus symbol okay once you click the plus symbol you can uh, you will come to another package place you can able to mention for requests okay request is basically to uh, request for http request and all you can able to do for easily once you click that one it will uh, try to install into that particular request into a uh, pycharm please and the previous i done for command prompt it is in python level and this is a pycharm level okay successfully installed close it click ok 
then go to APS, go to here and click on Python file. That is a get a method. Okay, now get method you can able to here import. You can able to make it for requests. If it is not showing, if it is not showing anything error, then it will become a uh, installed. Everything is perfect. Nothing issue. Okay. This is all about for uh, introduction to uh, REST APIs and as well as install, setup, and uh, rest assured into a Python. Okay. A basic introduction also, okay, and another time I'm going to repeat like introductions, like uh, why API is required means we need to do for a very fast in the server access. That is the main purpose we are going to use for APIs because it is a single uh, uh, endpoint type. It will contain one particular module, that module only it will operate. And it is uh, getting for faster, faster access to the data and DB2 UI it will uh, reflect very fast. Due to that only they are using for APIs. Okay, and the next class we'll meet and we'll see for how easy we can able to create our test case, first test case. Okay, that's all about this video. I hope you enjoyed this one. If you like this video, please like me, please subscribe my YouTube channel and don't forget to share your friends and colleagues and also comment on this video. Thank you.